Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Keo Daikin, and I'm currently working on my pie image. And so there was a few things that I wanted to clean up here on my image. And uh, what I wanted to do is just go ahead and record this. I mean, I might as well make some content out of it while I'm in the process. I'm cleaning up uh, my uh, Thomas Wave uh, directory. I have all the images. Uh, I had perfect. Well, I had everything scraped. But I wanted to clean it up a little bit because I had duplicate copies of games and titles showing up in my menu. So I wanted to go ahead and clean it up. And so I'm actually entering in some of the artwork, video snaps and everything manually. So I figured this would be a great time for a tutorial to show you guys exactly how you can do it if you already have the artwork, the pictures and everything else. Um, essentially, you wouldn't have to really scrape everything all over again if you have one or two games that you want to add to your custom collection, whether it's, an arc, whether it's an arcade, SNES, Nintendo, whatever directory. If you already have a game you want and you're like, gee, I just want to you know, find the media artwork or just add the media artwork for the ROM I want to add because it wasn't included on my image, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and get into this video review. All right, so the first thing is you obviously want to make sure that you have the picture or the video file that you want. Uh, currently on the left side of the screen, as you can see, this is my Raspberry Pi 4. I'm in the uh, Thomas Wave directory right now. And on the right side of the screen, this is my WinSCP program. Uh, this is uh, all these files are already on the Pi. So on the right side of the screen, you will see uh, in the right hand column, I'll go ahead and blow this up. The media artwork is already there. So what I need to do is tell the Pi to pull down that file and direct it to the ROM file in the directory. So uh, let's go back here to the Pi. And uh, the first thing you want to do is obviously go back in to your Pi image. In fact, I'll just go ahead and back out so you guys can see what I'm doing. And you want to pick on the game that you want. You want to hit the back button. Obviously, this one's going to be Dolphin Blue. Edit metagame data. And I want to pull up an image for this. So I have to go ahead and hit the A button on the controller. And you make sure you also need a keyboard for the, so you can type in the directory. So the directory, let's pull it up here. And the file that I want to pull up is the dolphinblue.png. So we have to type in the full path to the image. So it's going to be backslash home pi retro pi backslash roms. Now make sure when you type in retro pi, I just made a mistake right there. You want, it has to, all of this is exactly as it is, it is case sensitive. You can't type in RetroPie uh, without capitalizing it. So you want to make sure you capitalize the R and the P. Backslash again, ROMs. Now the first part of this is going to be the same for all your ROMs regardless. So you're obviously for any ROM, you're going to type in HomePie, RetroPie, ROMs. And then of course the next directory is going to be a Thomas Wave. That's the game file or the directory you want to pull from. A Thomas Wave. And this one, because I originally scraped using the screen scraper, it directed everything into a media file. Uh, typically, if you're using the self and scraper, you want to pull it from maybe uh, images or artwork or uh, snaps. Uh, they use a, a different type of combination of words and files. So uh, here we have media. And then I'm going to pick up images. That's the next directory. And we're going to type in dolphin blue. So D O L P H I N space. You have to type it in directly as you see it there. So if there wasn't a space, it would not pull down the file. So it's going to pull down the file now because I typed it in correctly. I'm at the B button on the Pi. And let me go ahead and minimize this so you guys can see it. All right, so there's the full path. I'm going to hit OK. And you definitely want to make sure that you save it or else it will not pull up. And there you go. There's the picture 
for Dolphin Blue. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull down a video for you guys. This is the video snap that uh, plays that gives you the preview of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. So I'm gonna go Dolphin Blue, edit this game metadata. And of course you can manually type in a description, but again, uh, this is a long process if you're planning on doing this for all your ROMs, but if it's like one or two games, you just wanna clean up a little bit. This is something you can do really quickly. And we're gonna to go to video. So the directory is gonna be the same. Home, Pi, Retro Pi, uh, capital P, ROMs, a Thomas Wave. And let's see, what's the rest of the directory? I'm gonna actually pull it up while I have it here in front of me. Uh, let's see. This one's gonna be located in snaps. All right, so it's gonna be home pie, retro pie, ROMs, a Thomas Wave, media, snap, backslash, and we're gonna type in dolphinblue.mp4. So dolphin. Space. Now remember, the only reason why I'm typing in a space is because the file has a space. So dolphinblue.mp4. And we're gonna go down to okay. And you can save here or you could just hit the B button like I did the last time. There you go. And that is how you manually add artwork and whatnot to your files. Now, of course, if you are running some uh, additional themes, you know, you do have uh, additional themes you can add. Oops, I actually clicked on the wrong thing there. You guys aren't supposed to see that. <laughs> but uh, when you do add your artwork, you do also have another few titles you guys can add. Let me go ahead and back out here. Let's see here. All right, so when you do go to your metadata, you also have a description, you have the image, you have the marquee. You also have a thumbnail, but honestly, a lot of times you can also do, you know, use the thumbnail as the uh, picture or the image or also the box art that also works as well. But uh, there you guys have it. That is how you add, um, you change some of the metadata in uh, your game file. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please like it, share it. Just wanted to show you guys something really simple. A lot of this stuff is really easy. I know there's a lot of image makers and builders that are putting out stuff and people get amazed and stuff at it, but a lot of this is the real tedious work is making sure you can have all the artwork, all the images and stuff there for people to really enjoy or even for yourself to enjoy. Uh, there are plenty of different ROM packs out there. A lot of us have already gone through those. Um, I actually have made my own um, I've worked on those. I made the uh, Pi 4 Arcade uh, pack. Uh, you guys will eventually see that um, on my build that's coming out. This is the Venom build that I'm working on. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Like it, share it, subscribe it. I'll catch you guys next time.